Are there unexpected dangers when using free SSL certificates? Hey everyone, Rob here with Buy SEO Services. And today I wanted to talk about the dangers of free SSL certificates. This is something you may not know as I recently found out about it firsthand myself. I know a lot of you may be using Cloudflare as not only a CDN but a free SSL like I was before the finding we're going to discuss in this video. Honestly, I still am using Cloudflare for a lot of my websites but possibly not to the extent or in the same way some of you may be using Cloudflare. The finding that compelled me to create this video has also caused me to think about a potential strategy that can be used with Cloudflare. I may discuss that in a future video, but we shall see. The information I'm about to disclose is something I accidentally stumbled upon while performing a who is on a couple of domains I own. The response code I received when the who is information was returned was something that I did not expect. For those that don't know, a web server sends a response code to the web browser in addition to the HTML or code for your website. You're all probably familiar with a 404, which is the response code for a web page that doesn't exist. I think we can all agree that's a pretty important detail and response code to know if our intention was to have a functional web page in the location the website visitor was looking. As I was reviewing the who is for my domain names, I noticed that Domain Tools was showing a response code of 500, also known as an SSL negotiation fail response code. Yikes, that's not what I wanted to see, especially if I'm trying to push this specific website off as being secure. Here's the stark reality of this situation. We all know Google is pretty particular about the way they do things and the way they index websites. None of us are trying to get our websites de-indexed or ignored by Google. Therefore, I want to encourage all viewers to this video to check the response code of their own websites. As you can see from the screen, here's another screen capture from another website of mine where the response code is drastically different. This is a response code 200, which is exactly what I was uh, expecting from the previous screen, but got the 500 SSL negotiation failed error instead. With this information in mind, I'm leaving a link in the description box below this video so you can check your own website's response code. If you are in the market for a real SSL certificate that delivers the desired 200 response code from the server, then be sure to check out my SSL certificate installation service by clicking the link in the description box below this video. So now that you know, please be sure to verify the response codes for your own websites and make sure you're seeing the, resp uh, the response code that you expect. Are you using Cloudflare or some other free SSL method? I would love to hear your comments in the comment section below this video. Thank you all for taking the time to watch, like, and subscribe. And I'll see your beautiful viewers in the next video. Be good to yourselves and each other. I'll talk to you later. Peace.